Hi guys. All right, so this is going to be a new video, a new series. It's actually inspired by my last video, but I'll give you a little bit more about the series after I finish the video. So I hope you guys stay tuned, enjoy the video, continue watching, and yeah. Okay guys, let's get started and go right into this look. Here I'm applying a chocolatey brown into my crease and a little bit above it. And this is to create some dimension to my eyes. You know, this is the contour of the eyes that I'm doing here. So I'm just using this dark brown to deepen my eyes, create more of a crease. Even though I don't really need because my eyes are defined enough, but you know, adding concealer and prime above that it takes away from that now I'm applying a orangey shade because I want the color to have some orangey red tones in it I'm applying this orangey shade um, above the crease and it's going to kind of transition into the brow bone color that I will apply later but yeah I'm applying this color now and now I'm deepening the crease a little bit more with a darker brown um, this brown has a little bit more red in it and I'm also going to put that color on the outer V um, with a different brush here you can see me doing that now and this just creates a shape for the cut crease that I'll be doing as you guys see in the title I'm doing the cut crease look and later on I'll explain why I'm doing this look and all that but yeah I'm just putting this color on the outer V and I'm just going over different shades here and there and that's a part of doing your makeup guys remember to just go over and blend go over if, it, if something's not looking great you can go over it with a little bit more or something different to get the look that you want the next step in this look is for me to put the case I'm going to take a concealer brush and my foundation my derma blend foundation to cut the crease and create the shape that I want I'm going to create a half circle it's not a full cut crease that I'm doing it's more like the half cut crease that I'm kind of doing I'm going to create a half circle as I said and just create the shape with that foundation and that bit. Alright, so after placing down the shape that I want, I'm just going to apply eyeshadow to set this. And for the inner corner, I'm going to apply this beautiful um, pinky purple eyeshadow. It's very beautiful and the palette that I got also has no name, but it has some beautiful shades of color. Um, next, I'll be applying this peachy nude color. It's so beautiful in real life because it has a little bit of specks in it, a little glitter. It doesn't really show on camera but it's absolutely beautiful and both colors paired together is just stunning. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying these colors and ensuring that I blend them properly as you should too. Um, here I'm just speeding through that step one more time on my other eye, cutting the crease layering the the color the eyeshadow onto the the base and blending them properly Alright, continuing with the eyes so Here I'm deepening the eye a little bit more, the outer corner. Here I'm applying this 
brick red kind of brown it's like not so brown not so brick red but yeah it's super beautiful and i think it paired beautiful with this look um i really love the colors in this look pinky peachy kind of look it's very beautiful so yeah that's what i'm doing just deepening the crease um blending them together ensuring that all the colors are blended properly then I'm going to take a little bit of black and deepen it a little bit more and create a little bit of smoky effect. It's not going to be as deep as it looks now, so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend it and just create that smoky dimension on the outer V. And you guys should know by now that blending is the key to a beautiful eyeshadow look that you have to bring. Alright, so here I'm defining the lower portion of the eyes. First I'm going to define it with a black pencil. Then I'm going to smoke out the bottom with the colors that were mainly in the crease. So that brown, dark brown and the orangey shade that we placed in the crease. We're just going to blend those colors beneath on the lower lash line. Alright, so now I'm just applying liner and I'm going to do my usual wing liner. I love a wing liner. As I told you guys in the last video, um, I'm going to apply my wing liner. And here I'm actually trying a new technique to myself that is that is great for beginners. So after playing around with this technique and seeing how it is, I'll let you guys have a video of this. All right, so we're going into the great part of this video, and we're applying glitter. Yes, glitter. So I'm using my e.l.f. glitter primer. I'm applying that first and then dipping the liner brush, which is what I'm using, to apply the glitter on the primer. And I'm just going to do that in the cut crease that we're created. We have created, I should say. And this beautiful glitter is from Cherubles. She is located in Portmore. If you love glitter, you guys should check her out. Her glitters and pigments are great they are so beautiful they they're just gorgeous so check her out um so yeah so that's what i'm doing i'm just applying the primer then applying the glitter on top of the primer and i'm just creating it in a line right over the cut piece that we created Yeah, so that's it for the eyes and we're completing the look with this lip. But I must say I really love recreating this look. It is just to die for. It's just beautiful. It's so creative and yeah. So I'm applying liner to define and to deepen my lip line. And after that, I'm applying these beautiful... I can't say lipsticks because they're not lipsticks. They're like lip gloss in a tube they're just so beautiful they're so glossy i did not apply gloss to these at all and they're so beautiful it's two shades i will step down below but yeah this is it for a look this is it for me hope you guys enjoyed hi guys so this is the look this is a final look and i hope you guys enjoyed this i really enjoyed recreating it um so this will be a uh, installment in my new series and i will be calling it trendy fridays or something like that but it will be me creating trendy looks from instagram or youtube uh, or me recreating um looks inspired by youtubers that i like or looks i've seen on the internet yeah, so that's my new series. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but 
yeah it was kind of inspired by my last um video that i did um inspired by jacqueline hill so yeah i'm going to try and create recreate looks and for this one i recreated that glitter liner cut crease look that i've been seeing going around it's my first time actually doing it i've never even practiced this look and i really like how it turned out at first i didn't like how it looked after i put on the um the glitter because i loved how it looked before but it's grown on me i love a cut crease um i do it do it a lot but i really love a cut crease on my eyes because i have that bright eyes as some people say big eyes but yeah i really love this look and i hope you guys really enjoy this series share with your friends tell me down below what kind of looks you want me to recreate like tag me in some stuff on instagram or wherever you see looks that you want me to recreate um i really really appreciate that um thank you guys for watching like comment and share comment down below i really appreciate i don't really like seeing when you guys comment and i really like talking to you guys so yeah thank you guys for watching and remember to wear the best you for the world to see my elevate signing out bye dolls